Look at that. They keep throwing gasoline on it. So we're calling the police because <laughs> I'm sure those neighbors and those neighbors would not appreciate it. My mom is coming to pick up Audrey. Kyle's gonna work from home. <laughs> the kids have school and I think his mom's picking them up from school. I'm not sure because I have to go do an, uh, I'm getting an ultrasound. I have to get an ultrasound for my gallbladder, which to check. They just wanna make sure it's okay because I've had like a pain there and uh, my midwife felt like it was maybe a little swollen, but she couldn't tell. So just in case. But I have to go to a hospital that's like way farther away. And the ultrasound's 11. And then the follow-up with the doctor is not till 2.30. So I'm like, Ugh. So I have to find time, like kill time there. Hi, Soph. Come on in, honey. Here, just start brushing your hair. Do you want a ponytail? Yes. Okay. It's P.E. P.E. Okay. And so I have to do that. Anyway, it's a day. And I have a whole cleaning crew coming today, so it's like I was already busy today, but so be it. I might need the other brush. Sophia's hair is so thick that this like wet brush that she loves because it feels good doesn't always get out all of her tangles, which I know is annoying, Sophia. Use both of them. Yeah, but I'll be gentle. All right, We're all Audrey, <laughs> go have fun with Grandma. No, I'll be consistent. <laughs> Stay in the seat until we get where we're going. I always did. I told her it's not safe in the street. Okay. All right, I am here at the uh, alters, the doctor's office. So I might alter sound first and then I have like to kill a few hours. Then I have the doctor's appointment part, but they couldn't do them back to back. So uh, it's okay. This doctor is, um, is in a different part of Houston than I than like where my doctor's office is. So I was worried about parking because like sometimes parking can be so annoying, but it ends up being fine. So I'm a little early, so I'm gonna go on in in case they need me to fill out a bunch of paperwork and blah, blah, blah. I really wish Kyle could have come too, but uh, it is what it is. All right, I'm waiting for the doctor. <laughs> it's gonna come in and talk to me. I am picking the kids up from school. I was done um, early a little, they, the doctor came in earlier so they were able to have me talk to him earlier which is awesome so I could pick up the kids. So basically, yeah, I have a gallstone. I was like, really? I thought, like honestly the last, like over the weekend and stuff, I even ate some fatty food over the weekend because we had that party and so I had like chicken salad and I had some pizza on Friday night when we were doing the move, basically like not good and I've actually felt better so I was like oh it's probably not gall my gallbladder then because I feel better but the doctor said that I probably had another stone that was smaller that I was past like passing the stone from my gallbladder and that was the pain I felt otherwise just kind of it's just kind of a wait and see type of thing they prefer not to do sur surgery on pregnant ladies obviously but it is something that um, I might get it removed after maybe we'll see so whatever for right now i'm good no infection that's what they worry about that's the only thing that's concerning with gallbladder problems is if you have an infection so whatever yeah so yeah apparently being pregnant you're just like m more at risk for it and i also have something called a i don't have the paper i don't remember the name at all but it's basically this like anomaly that can happen it happens they i think it was like one to six percent of people have this it's a something 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 cap <laughs> and basically at the fundus of my gallbladder it's like bent like folded over like naturally like this is just it's it's rare but it does happen to a few people <laughs> anyway people who have this have restricted bile flow through their gallbladder anyway so that makes you more likely to have gallbladder issues and some people who find out they have this um, will preemptively get surgery and remove their gallbladder to prevent 
problems in the future. Well, I mean, I never knew I had this like anomaly. Like, <laughs> I didn't know. So who knew, you know? I was just like, oh, okay. So apparently I have this like <laughs> crooked, bent, whatever gallbladder. So that just like makes me more susceptible to stuff. But I've never had any problems before, like zero problems. So, all right, that's the update. But I'm good, like I'm actually feeling fine. The power washer guy is here cleaning the part of the driveway. This part of the driveway he couldn't do when he was here the other day because it was covered by our storage unit. So he came back to do the rest, which is nice. Grayson, where are we going, bud? Walmart. Walmart! We're gonna go get a few things we need for the house. And he said we could get a toy. Yep, and you get to get a toy. We got yeah, Audrey a toy all, randomly and told the other kids to get one. Wait, do I get to pick my toy that I get? Yeah. Or do you have to say what I have? <laughs> you get to pick it, but we're not getting anything big, right? Uh, something not too, not a, if this is, it's not Christmas, huh? So it's not your birthday. Just something little, but something fun, okay? <laughs> How about like a flashlight a little thing? Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, so that's why I said I would want to get that um ready fast light, fast light, that's all it comes with. That's and very it cool. Right on. So, uh, oh. Ooh. It's one of those adventure games that we like. We should just get the online version of that. Can we? It looks fun. I like these kind of games. <laughs> the ones that are like puzzle solving, clue ones. We're getting a, a Nintendo Switch. Is that what it's called? For the movie room in our new house. Apparently, as Kyle has told me. <laughs> oh, they don't have one? He was going to show Grayson. Well, they'll have them back, I'm sure. The what one? Well, tell them, tell them. I have no idea what Grace is talking about. All right, guys, so look at that over there. I looked out in the backyard and thought that these people's back of the house was on fire. Instead, it's some dumb kids making a dumb choice. On a windy day, they've built a fire, a huge fire, on the ground. They keep throwing gasoline on it. So we're calling the police because <laughs> I'm sure those neighbors and those neighbors would not appreciate it. Like you could see the gas uh, station. Yes, hi. Uh, I'd like to report uh, some of my neighbors performing something fairly dangerous. The kids, they're kids. So if I, I live in and my neighbors across the way kids. are, I guess like, I guess like they're kids or something like that, but they have a fire, an open, uncontrolled fire in their backyard and they're throwing they gasoline on it. And laughing. And, and having fun, apparently. These are the same neighbors, where the ki same kids where they were shooting fireworks up through the trees in the backyard, which is illegal. Like, you can't do that in this area. <laughs> Guys, they sent a whole fire truck. You kids never play with fire. You got that? Yeah, unless it's a campfire. You don't play with a campfire either. Yeah. You'd use it responsibly. Mm -hmm. Guys, stay here, stay here. Guys, stay back. It's across, you can't see it. It's across the street. Mm -hmm. Do you see the lights flashing on the other house? Yeah. You see the red light? Come here, Grayson, I'll show you. I see it. I can't believe they sent a whole fire truck. They should have, because the fire could have gone too big. Well, they just worry, because all it takes is one little ember to go across to a roof. Kids are trying to say that it was never that big because it had already started to like go out. 
but they can I can hear them. <laughs> they can they they, uh, they can see where it was scorched on the ground, so they know they're not telling the truth. And like <laughs> the gas cans, there's a gas can back there. And they made them put it. They're making them put it out. Ugh, I hate to like be like. <laughs> We are not those like neighbors, but honestly, all of our neighbors are so awesome. It's those people. Okay, we have some trash and a few dishes. We're almost done with our stuff that we were doing this evening. So that's good because I'm really tired. <laughs> so we're gonna call it night. Hope you guys had a great today and we hope you have a wonderful tomorrow and we'll talk to everyone next time. Good night guys.